Hey now everybody, it's Vernon from Atelier Exotica. I know it's been a while since I posted, we've just been super busy over here. But uh, we got a shipment in today that I'm really excited about, I want to share with you guys. It is a shipment of nymphs of the Black Beauty stick insect. Uh, so we're gonna take a quick minute, check this out, and get these guys all set up, and we'll talk some more in just a sec. So here's our shipment, it just got here today. It actually surprised me, I usually keep pretty close track of, you know, sh live animal shipments, and I know right when they're gonna get here. This one surprised me, I, I checked to see when it was gonna arrive, and it turned out it was already, I was already here. I just walked out to the porch, grabbed it, and brought it in. So these guys are from Peru, and they're a recently discovered species of stick insects. So I'm pretty excited about them. Uh, not a lot of people know about them, much less have them. So we are going to just take a look here. And there they are, right inside there. Oh, there's a couple of pretty good sized ones too. Super cool. They are from Peru, uh, like a, an undisclosed location way high up in the mountains in Peru. Apparently they're a pretty recent discovery. About as recent as 2005. So these guys are pretty exotic. Oh man, really awesome looking. Here, I'm gonna switch the camera view here so we can Take a look at these little, little buggers. Oh, they're freaking cool. These guys. Pretty distinctive looking. Got like bright red mandibles, orange eyes. And eventually they'll have some really cool bright red wings. So that's pretty awesome. They're probably severely freaked out right now. And we can only imagine. We're supposed to have five in here, so we'll see. They're very cool looking. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys set up. And uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. Big goon wanted to go exploring. Crawl on my hand. Where do you think you're going, buddy? Doing their new setup. They look pretty stoked about it. Um, I was supposed to get five. And I'm counting one. Four, five, six. There's a seventh one around here somewhere, I think. Uh, oh, seven. Big boy over here in the corner. Yeah, there may be another one around, but I've got my privet leaves kind of stuck in a deli cup with some holes in it and some water in the bottom so they can feed off of those. Got some little branches in here for them to crawl around on. They seem to be loving that already. Uh, and then I've also got, this is a bioactive enclosure, so I've got some isopods scurrying around in here. Hopefully no, neither one will cause problems for the other. I don't think so. These guys are herbivores and you know, the isopods are detrivores. They eat dead things. So it shouldn't really be much of an issue if at all. But we've got plenty of things for them to do in here. Some little enrichment stuff. This little guy down here is really not doing so hot. He was kind of stuck in the very bottom of the of the little deli cup that I got him in. So 
so we'll see what happens. Hopefully he's just chilling on his little privet leaf. I'm actually probably gonna go get some uh, some bromeliads, or maybe at least just one, just to kind of give them some more hiding spots and some more options. Give them a nice big enclosure so they can spread out and hopefully thrive in here. So we will see what happens. Drop down zone. Me? Oh my.